Hello again, this is the Water Man, Spiritual Toolbox, number 322, John chapter 3, recording number 170, audio recording number 639, and examination table number 297. We'll be continuing that uh, prelude, the introduction, uh, before I head back into John 3, 29 and 30, okay? Um, I have pre-recorded, so here it is. We'll be in uh, Jeremiah 17, 9, continuing in that, breaking it down, okay? Bye-bye. Hello again, this is the Watering Man, Spiritual Toolbox, number 322. John, chapter 3, recording number 170. Audio recording, number 639. Examination table number 297. I'll continue with this prelude, this introduction to John 3.29. Okay, we're in Jeremiah 17.9. I've been working on this first word in that. Let me read this first out of the King James Version first. <coughs> in the first word they just put deceitful uh -huh. let's expose more to, more about that okay that's that old righteousness that old stinking carnal mind that non-spiritual thinking our dynamic nature that beast nature in us oh man it's more subtle than any beast of the field have your mind get out Right, you can't do it by your might and your power. It's got to be by God's spirit. Huh? Uh, be reasonable, my child, say my way. Huh? And this intense passion and desiring, hot, storms of life. That's when you got to make a decision. One thing, but going and hot turning and doing 180 degree about face from that old, your old righteousness and going full bore into God is disagreeing with God. Huh? Is the red way. You gotta turn and go in the green way. Go in the God with everything you got. Don't hmm? try to polish up the outside of the cup and leave the inside all kinds. Of, it's still dead in his bones, still there. It's eating you up. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Now, 61. <laughs> this I can. 61 17 is to circumvent. By the hill. Didn't Jacob stain mean hill grabber? Take by the hill. Your hill speaks of your walk. Like hill toe, hill toe when you walk, right? Huh? Trip you up. And uh, to follow at the hill. That's what that call mind trying to trip you up. To see you. Man, this is a good way right here, I promise. It's not, the, it's not 
God. Huh? It's trying to be God for you. Huh? Uh, it wants punishment. Huh? It wants to punish you, trip you up, laugh at your ass. Huh? Uh, you big dummy. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. You know, I really apologize. Here, try this way. You got to fall off the cliff. Uh, Right? 
Alright, that's the first word. <laughs> now. <coughs> now, it says deceitful. In the word, if it translated as the heart. 3820. L E B. This word. Strong's H. 3820. Lame. Lame. And that's not talking about your blood pump in your chest. Or not even your brain. Come on, man. How's that going to be? God, how are you going to let God circumcise the foreskin of your heart? Of your blood pump in your chest. I just cut out one of them ventricles right there. I can live without it. It's not talking about spiritual heart. Alright. That's your carnal mind trying to do that. Just live with that stupid crap. Okay. What does it say? Lave, I think. Strong's H3820. Lave. Right. And it's a masculine now. And it's in the strong, it says the feelings, the will, and even the intellect. Likewise, the center of anything. The center of your thinking processes. Now remember, not your heart pump. Not your brain. Those are tangible things. You don't be on that. The spiritual things. Your mind. Go on down and beyond that. Your thought processes, those little bitty balls of muddied up water, go down even smaller. All the way down in there, that miniature black hole, and it's taking you all the way down into that like singularity. Hmm? God's right minded. It's that seed of faith. Hmm? That limited portion of God Himself that He put within you and each and every thought process. Are you going to get it, get it, get it? When God gives you the opportunity, or are you going to lose it, lose it, lose it? Give up on God. You're going to go, oh, I can't do that. You offended me, God. But this is too tough. I'm trying to go your own other way. Listen to your own dog inside yourself. Don't fold me, fold me. It's got a bandage on his face. Don't listen to that dog, dog nature. That beast nature. Quit it. Be reasonable, my child. Sit my way, right? Right? It's not by your feelings. It's not by your will, your desire, your efforts. It's not even by your intellect. Well, I scientifically proved it right there. Blah, blah. Mm. Huh. Likewise, it's the center of everything. Anything. We try to talk about that center of your thinking process. Right back to God. God's unification. He's bringing it back. Let them up. Make God true. And all that other stuff, all that beast nature stuff, it's a liar. Ooh, yuck. Okay. Now, <clears throat> that was the heart. Okay, that lathe. Now, there's a word right after that that they didn't translate. And it's cold. K A O K A L K O L. I'm sorry. K O L. I was looking right at it and saying, "Hey, I think K O L 3605." This word. Well, it's it's processing or something. Strong's H 3605. Cold. Cold. Second entry. Cold. Cold. Now that's like, um, this is the Hebrew, ancient Hebrew. Okay, not the modern day Hebrew, the ancient. Okay. Now, <clears throat> that's just about the same thing as the New Testament Greek, Koine Greek word pos, okay? And this word cold means the whole, all, A L L. Any or every, in the Hebrew lexicon, it says the whole or the totality of it. The totality of your thinking processes and right down in the root of that thing. Hmm? The center of anything. Wasn't that what Lave is? Hmm? All the way 
it down in there. There's little microscopic black holes right down in that seat. Hmm? God's working on your mind way down beyond anything that you can even, you can't possibly touch this. With your own might and power. And when God gives you the opportunity, you like those little tornadoes, those storms of life and stuff. You either go up, in God's higher, superior way, hmm? becoming a widow to your old stinking ticket process, when you go down, you fall away. You fall in or you fall out of God's righteousness. Huh? You're falling up to God or you're falling down to your own crypt again. Alright? Alright, now this is all of them. It's like pause, it's cold, okay? Now, let's go down to the next word. Now, they translate this word, number 605. It's like an apostrophe, A-N-A-S. This word right here. Strong's H-605. Anash. Anash. Okay. That Anash. They translate that as above all things and desperately wicked. Okay. Let's break it down and see what they're actually what it actually is. Okay, now that anash is a verb. Okay? Let me see. Yeah, it's a verb. It's a primitive root. Okay? In the Strong's, it means to be frail. Frail! Weak! I don't call mine weak. It's a big pussy cat. Us, as he loves us, 
Okay? And he put a little measure of that faith, a limited portion of that in there. So even if you say, no way, I don't believe you, I don't want all, 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 all this stuff. I'm agnostic, come here, get up to him. I'm a dumbass. I'm an old donkey, I'm an old donkey. Be like that guy on shit. Donkey! <laughs> I'm a donkey. I'm an existing man. It's a donkey. Don't believe in that God stuff. Donkey! I mean, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Make fun of that stuff. Cause it's not, it's, it's BS. It's not going to get you to God. It's worthless and detestable to increase you back into God at all. It's, it's a separation. It's a carnal mind. To be carnally minded is death of separation. It's in Romans 8, right? Hmm? The carnal mind is in me. It's directly opposed to God. It wants you to fight it, hook, line, and sinker. Believe me, I won't take your life. I'll just do it enough to really twist it all to, to your own destruction. <laughs> it's not some devil out there. Or say, don't it's impossible. It's your own carnal beast thinking. Non spiritual bull crap. Make it a liar. Ew, yuck, let that stuff be. Ew, yuck, cast it out. Get out. Right now. And God gives you the opportunity. Agree with God. And put that stuff out. Mom, possess that land. That's like a military term. To uh, drive out those uh, former inhabitants. Those ite nations. Those imaginations. That violence, fear, all this Jebusite stuff. All those ites, those seven ites in, in Deuteronomy 7 1. Drive them out and possess that land. Possess your mind. In its place, a little bit by little bit by little bit, as God gives you the opportunity to do this. Because you can yank and try to suppress and everything on those golden painted chains and silver stuff, plaques and stuff on your chest, hanging around your neck. But you can't do it yourself. But when God gives you these uh, opportunities in these storms of life, and it'll come off when you glorify with God. You'll break it off. A little bit by little bit by little bit. Not all of it at once. I did it one time and I'm perfect. I punched my ticket and I just, uh, keep doing it. Habitually practice it. Paso, right? Whether you've seen him, heard all this stuff, like uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 9. Hmm. So habitually practice to make you that the way you be existing, existing, existing. One, two, three days, three ages. Huh? Through those three watches at night, three watches in the day, and that's six. Three plus three, six. In three days, three ages, six, six, six. God's taking off that carnal mind, that tattoo on your forehead and on your hand, in your works, and in your mind. Huh? Come on, man. Tell that dog, beat it. Just beat it. Ow. Right? Get out. Right? Yeah. So don't do this depression. The uh, prolonged depression. Just go, don't, don't push that way. Huh? going to toughen you. It was a God. And then it pulled you through. Can't do it by your temper, Tom, bulletproof. Me and myself and I, man, I'm just a bag on stud. I'll just flip them all. Mm -mm. Those ites are mightier and more powerful than you are. <laughs> you can't do nothing. You're a weak pup. And you're only me, myself, and I. You're suppressing this bunch of crap. Huh? Alright. The DVD, uh, let's see here. Let me see, I'll read all these notes again. I'm not sure where I covered down to. Uh, uh, 
it's how and what your state of mind uh, your state of existence is in the, is in the sickness of any storms of your life where you're gonna fit into that old back to your old self thinking your old red way you're being sick in your mind weak feeble huh let's get it right or you're you're being like a, a, a royal knight like on a chessboard man or a, a rook or something in the kingdom in the you know as God gives you the ability you're agreeing back into God and you're coming into him full bore I don't want that stuff daddy get out you call him on emphatically right now <clears throat> Are these pressures, tribulations, storms, um, the stalipsis, right? In the, in the in the world there must be tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I overcome, I have overcome the world. John sixteen thirty three, right? The stalipsis, tri uh, pressures, tribulation, calamities. Okay, are those uh, are these being used as rocket fuel? To bring you back into the right mindedness of God. As you green light him in hot pursuit. Yes! Get out, you stinking dog! Coming back into God. Right? When he gives you opportunity, are you taking full advantage of it? You gotta take your own temperature there. Or are you going back the red way to your own self thinking, well, there might be another old way to do it. I don't have to be obedient to God. Remember? A deceptive thing. Part of it was, it's a, it, it, it doesn't obey orders from God. <laughs> then obey God to be reasonable. Sit my way, come back to me. <laughs> oh, no, I think I'll do it another way. Double your trouble, right? In the Hebrew lexicon, words uh, up there for that uh, A-N-A-S 605 in the Hebrew Zextile Lexicon saying of, of a calamitous day of malignant disposition of mind please don't feed your own beast nature don't go the red way alright um See, right, right, you know, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, it says, Seek ye first to keep the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all this other stuff be added to you. It's not the natural, physical stuff that needs, needs or requires correction. It's, uh, it's for you coming back into God's right mind, the senior thinking process. Change the way you think. Huh? The storm for life is an opportunity for you. Okay? I'm going to say a minute, and I'll come back on the next one. Bye-bye. Okay, that takes care of that one, and I have one more left. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.